the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, and I'm here with another edition of the genuine article. And I'm speaking with Dr. Carlo Cipolla. And uh, Dr. Cipolla is the director of cardiology at the European Institute of Oncology in Milan. And he's published a very interesting article uh, on anthracycline-induced cardiomyopathy, uh, a condition we're encountering more frequently as cancer patients survive longer and longer. So tell us a little bit about your study. So we have a chance to study uh, more than 200 uh, patients. That is uh, fairly rare. If you think that uh, in the literature was just present about 10 uh, papers uh, and talking about 100 patients uh, and uh, all, all the series. And we studied 200 consecutive patients with uh, a decrease in left ventricular ejection fraction after chemotherapy, uh, after the anthracycline chemotherapy. And we had two chance, uh, we had the chance to detect uh, a frequent decrease in the left ventricular ejection fraction, and we treated the patient with enalapril, with AC inhibitors, and beta blockers as soon as possible. And we had, I think, uh, interesting results uh, in order to the possibility to stop the evolution of uh, the anthracyclic induced uh, cardiomyopathy. That is a fairly uh, new information. Now, uh, this was a prospective study, yeah, was it? And that's correct. And you measured ejection fraction by echocardiography? That's correct. So there can be some variability. Uh, did you have strict criteria for the definition of uh, reduced ejection yes, fraction? Yes, below 45%. Percent, uh, below 45%. Percent. And uh, we perform echocardiography every month uh, in the first six months, uh, and then every two months, uh, and a long follow-up of the patients. And um, as a matter of fact, we saw that if you can treat, if you can detect the left ventricular ejection fraction reduction and treat the patients uh, as soon as possible, I mean uh, in the first three, at maximum four months, you can have a reduction, you have a, a complete uh, um, uh, increase of the, above 50% of the cardiac function. So, uh, so my recollection is about 60% of the patients who you treat within four months of detecting a reduced ejection fraction can have their ejection fraction restored to more than 50%? That, that's correct. That's correct. And, and the other 40%, they have no response no, or a partial? They had uh, about 25% a partial response. That means an increase of uh, 10 points of uh, ejection fraction in percentage. Uh, and, uh, but they were not able to reach uh, the, the normal level of 50%. And the problem was that if you don't reach a normal cardiac function, uh, you have major cardiac adverse effects as uh, sudden death, uh, sudden cardiac death, uh, um, heart failure, um, uh, life-threatening arrhythmia, so cardiac implantation. That means that you have to detect very carefully the first months of uh, chemotherapy and intervene as soon as possible with a classical therapy as uh, AC inhibitors and beta blockers. Right. So, so, so the message here really is prompt detection and prompt treatment. And your treatment is ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. ACE inhibitors first to maximum and then beta blockers? That's correct. That's perfect as maximum as possible, and uh, we, we were able to, 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 to have uh, use of uh, about 15 milligrams of enalapril and 25 milligrams of uh, carvedilol in almost all patients treated early. 25 a day or BIV? 25 a day. 25, 25 a day. 25 a day. So uh, it, it seems to me then it, it needs to be very close collaboration between the oncologist and the cardiologist because the oncologist is giving the medicine and the cardiologist has to be there to detect the problem and treat right away. That's correct. That's correct. And that is the history that we saw in our hospital 
when we started working with oncologists, uh, we were uh, almost neglected uh, mm -hmm. by, by them, at least in order to prevent um, cardiotoxicity. And uh, nowadays uh, we work together. We, uh, thanks to the determination, for instance, of uh, uh, troponin I or BNP, we are able to detect. Uh, we previously published uh, um, also minor cardiac impairment, and uh, the early treatment uh, allows uh, to continue with uh, chemotherapy. And, th and since we think that not also anthracyclines, uh, obviously, can uh, can give uh, can um, pro provoke uh, um, a cardiomyopathy, we have to be very careful also with other chemotherapeutic drugs. A absolutely. Well, I've learned something important from this manuscript, this paper that we'll publish, and I think surveillance, close cardiovascular surveillance in these patients and rapid treatment is really important to, to try to preserve that cardiac function. Thanks for being Thank with us. Thank you very us. much. For, for the Genuine Article, I'm Tony DeMaria.